Hey, Lord of the Rings fans. Today we're going to be looking at the Battle of Osculiath. I know I did a, I know I already did a video saying how I got it. Now I just thought I'd open it up and show what we have in here. For those who have never seen it or, you know, there's lots of other videos about this anyway. So I was finally allowed to open it on my birthday last week. And this is what it looks like when you open it. A lot of plastic. First up, you get 24 Moran and Orcs. Basically two sets of 12. They got the same poses, nothing big there. I already have 48 of those. So this will add a great deal to, the, to my Mordor Moran and Orc army. You also get 12 Rangers of Gondor. I already have a box of 24 Rangers of Gondor, so these are all doubles. There's no, they only make 12 poses for most of these things. I also have metal rangers. This is all plastic, by the way. The rangers of Athelion or rangers of Gondor, they make good... Uh, you use them as militia troops as well in other regions. Or from other parts of Gondor. And I've got 12 soldiers of Minas Tirith. Or soldiers of Gondor, depending how you want to do it. I always... I already have 72 of these and you only get the basic same basic 12 poses so this adds another company i guess you could say and i usually paint them different colors too to represent different parts of gondor then you get a pretty cool gothmog figure now it's all in pieces you got to put them together but gothmog he's on foot and he's on his warg i always thought gothmog would be a troll because that's what Middle Earth role playing puts him as, but uh, Peter Jackson made him an orc. And when you think about it, I guess an orc would be better. A Uruk. Because it's supposed to be highly intelligent and be able to command respect among the orcs. Though a troll would do that, but a troll couldn't operate in sunlight very well. Except for the very rare Olag Hay, the black trolls, that just started coming out by the time of the War of the Ring. And they can only work in. In really cloudy weather, sunlight still affects them. So I guess a troll, I, mean, I guess I guess an orc for Gothmog makes sense. Though it could have also been someone from the Far East, a man. Then you get your basic three heroes. Faramir, Madril, and Damrod. All three of them are in there somehow. I know it doesn't look right, but you, that's those three. And then you get the tr the troll. And you can accessorize your troll, but I'll get into that in a minute. Then we got four, four buildings. So each one of these represents a separate building. So you can see there's four of them. Now they made this box nicer than they made the uh, Battle of the Pelinar Fields. Get this neat little, little map. The Peter Jackson map, I call it. I much prefer Tolkien's map or the Peter Fenlon maps. Then a little section. You get a heavy book. This is what probably made it cost so much money. Hardcover rules book. So if you already have Battle of Pelennor Fields, then you already have a rule book, though they might have updated it. And you get the actual scenario book. which comes with cutouts for various things you can use a counter for, to mark things. And then the scenario in here, in Profiles book, which got some nice artwork. And there are only four scenarios, kind of surprising. And then you go to the profiles, the good and the evil, and then next steps. Finally, the construction booklet for the for the various pieces when they're in pieces. It's always good to have instead of fumbling around. You pull out this, you get the cheap plastic ruler. And then all the bases, as well as some very cheap dice. Then 
So that is what you get in the in a nutshell. All right, going back to the troll for a minute. This is the uh, the troll piece, and there's a lot of little accessories. So your typical troll body, front and back, and you can accessorize it. So you can give this guy three different. He's got three different heads. He's got the grumpy troll head. He's got the Isengard troll head, or he's got a head that has, that you can add some spikes and horns to. And then you can also give him the grumpy troll head with a crash helmet, almost like a football helmet. Now I could also make him into the little little drummer boy, which might look cool, but means he doesn't do anything in battle. And I can give him certain weapons like a war hammer, a club, or an Isengard-like sword. There's also a spear. There's the drum parts, and there's also various arms. You could also give him some body armor and an Isengard-like shield. So you can accessorize him. The Battle of uh, the Pelennor Fields came with a troll, and this is the one I made for that first one. I gave, him a, I gave him the crash helmet, the grumpy troll with a crash helmet, with body armor, some side armor, gave him a, sh a spear. The arm is actually on the wrong side of the body, but it's the only thing that would work for that model. And then he's got the war hammer. I put the Eye of Sauron in the middle of him. The second one was a, one from a, bo a small box set on its own. The troll has the spikes and the side armor that you can, you can add to the one face. He's got pretty cool body armor and he's got the war hammer. This one's metal, so it's heavier. Well, this one was, the other one was plastic. So those are the two that I have. I, I tried changing up colors because Tolkien doesn't really describe color too well. He always calls it black or gr greenish. So you try and use your imagination on the trolls. But anyway, all you Lord of the Rings fans out there, all my subscribers, let me know what you guys want me to, want me to uh, create. Do you want me to create the little drummer boy or would you like to see the the Isengard one? What kind of weapon would you like to see on him? So whatever whatever head, weapon, whatnot you want to see. Or color. Give me a color scheme. I'd like to know. And it could be outrageous. Anything but pink. Tiger stripes would look pretty pretty cool, maybe. But anyway, leave comments in the comment section. And until next time, this has been Roman Dace. I am out of here.